addicted to coffee again. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. I'm gonna be talking about how to be single on Valentine's Day. Because I know I'm not the only single one out there. So if you're feeling a little lonely on Valentine's Day, I have five things I'm gonna be talking about today to kind of help you get out of that little funk. The first thing I wanna talk about is gaining perspective. Now if you're feeling lonely and alone on Valentine's Day, I can assure you, you definitely are not alone. There are plenty of other people out there that are single on Valentine's Day. It's just another day. It just has a name to it. I'm gonna call it Tuesday. So you most definitely are not alone on Valentine's Day. I'm right there with you. Single girl power. That kind of brings me to my next point, which is to learn to enjoy your own company. I know that can be kind of hard, especially on Valentine's Day when you see so many other people out together and just like being in love and everything like that. But it is really important to enjoy your own company and be comfortable by yourself because if you're not comfortable with yourself, how can you be comfortable with a partner or anyone else for that matter? It's also important to love your singleness. And that also leads me to my next point, which is to learn to be genuinely happy within yourself regardless of your relationship status. If you see so many other people getting into relationships and having a steady relationship, it can be a little bit of a downer at times because it might make you feel like, well, what's wrong with me? Like, why can't I have that? I think we all have felt that or feel that at some point in our lives, but that's perfectly normal. It sounds so cheesy saying this. Don't get caught up in the status quo just because people are telling you you should get into a relationship, get married, have kids, like this. Don't feel like you should have to. Go with the flow, just do your own thing. Live life at your own speed, go at your own pace. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You can do your own thing. And this is a really important one too, but be whole by yourself. Don't feel like you need to go out and find the other half of you because you are a whole person by yourself so it might feel like you need to just because so many other people are in relationships that look that way you don't always know what someone else's relationship is like behind that wall of like perfectness or what they choose to show people through social media and through the public but learn to just be happy with yourself and be whole by yourself going back to my little don't follow the status quo. Oh my god, what I'm about to say rhymes with that. Try to avoid being swept away by the tide. Just go with the flow. Just because so many other people are getting into relationships, getting married, having kids, building a life with another person doesn't mean that you're not gonna have that someday. Or if you don't want that, that's fine too. But don't feel like you need to rush into that. It's gonna happen at some point. Just let it happen when it happens. I feel like you need to suddenly rush into it just because you see so many other people doing it. Be patient with love. Love the life you're living and try not to live for love. Does that make sense? If you're gonna live for love, live to love yourself. Love yourself, girl. Or nobody will. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? My last thing is probably the most important part of being single on Valentine's Day is to treat yourself. Whether that's to go out shopping and buy some things that you've wanted to buy for yourself for a while but have just put aside. Valentine's Day is a perfect excuse to buy things for yourself. Or you can stay home and have like a spa day by yourself and put on some really good movies, eat some really crappy junk food, get some Ben and Jerry's, make some brownies. I remember one year we were hanging out before we went to dance because we danced like five days a week at the time. Um, but we were with our friend Amanda at my house and I tried making like five different types of brownies. None of which worked. I, I think I made them in like these little cupcake things and they burned. And then we tried to make like marble brownies. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened, but it was a hot mess. I'll try to pop in a little picture right here, but like it was not pretty. I tried to make it look cute, but whatever. Or you can make some self, some self. Or you can make yourself some chocolate covered strawberries. My favorite way to make chocolate covered strawberries is to dip them in Baker's chocolate, the melting chocolate, or the Ghirardelli like melting chips, and then dip it into crushed chocolate cookies or crushed up like Heath bar. Oh my good 
just treat yourself some donuts take the day to have a moment for yourself you know do things that you really want to do if no one else is gonna treat us I mean we just got to do it ourselves at the end of the day it's just another day it has a title to it so what I hope some of these things help you and just know you're not alone because I am right there with you we can have chocolate covered strawberries and wine and watch a really good movie and go out to dinner well probably not together but like I'll be with you in spirits <laughs> that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a little different and I don't want it to sound like anti-Valentine's Day because I love Valentine's Day. Even though I'm single, who cares? It's still fun. Have some fun. Put on some red lipstick. Get dressed up. It's a fun little holiday. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye! By the way, can we just talk about this little, like, background? I don't even want to take them down after Valentine's Day because they're so cute. Major, major key alert. How to be single on Valentine's Day. Major key alert. I hate myself. <laughs>